Hey, what is going on guys? My name is ORHD and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Now for today's video, I have something new to this channel that I want to share with you guys and it's actually called Survivor's Guide. Now what I'll be covering in this series is the best guns to use in search for high rounds on any map and also best places for you and your friends to score high rounds as well as in map Survivor Guides. So before we get anywhere further into today's video, it would be much appreciated if you could please smash that like button below and also click the subscribe button. As for now, let's get straight into it. For our first weapon in the survivor's guide, we have the Draken. The Draken is a semi-auto sniper rifle and is a key weapon into progressing into high rounds in zombies. What makes the Draken a gun to use at high rounds is very obvious and I'm sure if you've equipped this weapon before, you'd see it right away. Now the Draken has a lot of differences compared to the other two snipers featured in Black Ops 3 Zombies. First being it is a semi-auto, meaning it can rapidly fire with a light triggered finger and prove amounts of damage. Second, it has barely any recoil at all or weapon sway, which means it has over 75% in accuracy for bullets to hit the zombies. The Draken deals a 2 body shot kill from round 10 to 18 not upgraded and 1 shot kill hitting a headshot from the same rounds. When it is upgraded, the Draken becomes a Bahamut and it is a much deadlier weapon than it was before, which is obvious. It has an increased damage by 40% making body shots from around 20 to 30 one shot and upon a successful headshot is it also a one hit kill. So you're probably thinking, how does this weapon help towards the high rounds? Well if the weapon is correctly adjusted and has the right attachments, perks and gobble gum, you'll be on your way to using this weapon until the late 30s. For the Draken, I recommend using the ELO sight out of all the available sights as it provides a much bigger peripheral and does not go into effect with the ability you need with it when upgraded. It also provides a pinpoint and better accuracy with headshots as well, apart from it not being fully zoomed in. For the attachments, I use only two and you can decide between them on what you need most. I use fast mags and also rapid fire. Now rapid fire can be a toss with stock as well, depending on what you feel comfortable with. I realise that rapid fire increases the fire rate by a low percentage and will not do much different than having double tap 2.0. Now into our perks, as always, to survive in zombies you need these basic perks. And these perks go as followed. Quick revive is really for solo only, along with juggernaut, speed cola, double tap and deadshot. These perks are what I recommend for the giant, as the dragon isn't the kind of gun to use on Shadows of Evil as there are no camping spots. Now if you're in a co-op game and you don't get, get dead shot, do not worry, the three perks will do fine, so that would be Juggernaut, Double Tap and Speed Cola. Now after you upgrade the Draken, I suggest getting the Fireworks ability to prove much more damage towards the zombies and to also save you a full few bullets for other zombies. Now moving into our Gobblegum list now that will help you during this entire game, I suggest our Chemical Antithesis, Immolation, Liquidation, wall power, in plain sight and unquenchable. For obvious reasons I chose these and if you've had all of the gumballs and seen the effects and trialed them, you'll understand. Now once you've got yourself set, you're ready to head on out using the Draken to your ultimate survival and achieving those high rounds and kills. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video down below and also comment below if you'd like to see another survival guide and what weapon I should cover next. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe down below by hitting that red subscribe button. But my name is Aero, and goodbye.